Catherine. So today I'm doing another video and I have been gone for so long and I say this every single time I make a video. I know I've been gone for a long time. Yes, I cut my hair again. It's shorter and blonder. Well, in this light it looks really red. Like, holy crap, that's red. I actually don't have red hair in real life. It's like blondish brown on because it's really bright outside. It's like overwhelming. So I have my lighting on. That's probably why it looks red on camera. Um, so today I'm going to be doing my hair care routine and how I curl my hair since I cut it and it's going to be kind of like on this curl. I get a lot of questions asking on how I curl my hair. And so I thought I would just show you in a video and also since I got highlights I've been doing some different things with my hair so I thought I would show you guys that too. I kind of transition between two like shampoo conditioner combos and then like every other shower I switch out like which ones I use. So um, I'm going to show you both of the combos that I use. The first one is my normal shampoo so this is the, uh, is the Giovanni Blackberry and Coconut Milk Ultra Repair Shampoo, and this is the Too Chic line. Um, this stuff works really good. I really like it. I really like the Giovanni line. Um, they're because they're like all natural, and so it's good for your hair. It smells um, mm, it smells really good. It's like it smells nice, but it's not like over processed sweet smelling. Um, and it works really nice. It makes my hair feel very clean. Um, and so when I use this, I do two shampoos using this, and then I use my deep mask, and I use this about two to three times, like two times a week, and this is just the Fakai, Fakai Technician's Luxe Color Mask, and this is the repairing one, the pink one, um, and literally I use, like, seriously, there's this much left, I don't know if you can see this very well, there's, like, barely any use, and I've been using this for a couple months, like, it's crazy how little I need. Well, to be honest, like my hair, like my hair barely reaches my shoulders. So, I mean, there's not a whole lot that I need to cover, but this stuff lasts so long. And it like really helps. And I leave this on for about 15 minutes. And it's really good for a repair mask. And I feel like it really makes my hair feel really um soft and not damaged. And it really helps my um split ends that I have from blonde because my hair hates blonde. Literally, it like starts falling out and I'm like, well, what are you doing now? Okay, so the next combo that I use on like an every other shower basis is the Matrix Color Care So Silver Shampoo. And this is for the blonde highlights because when I first got them done, they were very brassy and I did not like them. But this has really helped to like tone them out. It's like, it's a purple shampoo, so it, it may scare you. It's a very dark, very dramatic purple. And it smells not bad, and it doesn't dry out my hair too much. I mean, it does, of course, dry it out, but not, like, overly dramatic, because when I had my balayage last summer, I used something like this, and then I lost it, and I got this. But my old one was very damaging to my hair. It was like a cheap brand and it was not doing much and it was very damaging. And so I'm so glad I tried this one instead. And this is, again, this is the Matrix So Silver Shampoo and it so helps a lot. And, and I usually do two rinses of this again with the shampoo. Leave it on for about a minute because I really want the purple to soak in and tone up my hair. And when I do that shampoo, I use I use the matching Giovanni conditioner. And this is again the um, Blackberry and Coconut Milk Too Chic Ultra Repair Conditioner for damaged or processed hair. Both the Giovanni lines really help with color and keeping like color line, but they also help damaged hair. And the conditioner is very soft and it really helps after I use the purple shampoo because it really helps to kind of make my hair overall not very damaged and I really like it. Okay, and then after I get out of the shower, I usually like twist my hair up and I put it in this little turby towel thingy. Like I don't really know how to show this on camera, but you like flip your head and you like put it over and then you like, you like, you like twist it up and like put it back and I don't know what you guys are doing. Like what do you think you're doing? Get out. 
put him over there. Stay! So you like put your hair up and it like in the twisty turban. And I leave this in for about a half hour, maybe an hour. So after I take this out, I use a wide tooth comb and I just comb through like the ends of my hair. I don't even try the top because it just gets crazy and it like turns really poofy if I brush it up there. So after I comb my hair, I put my products in it and I have three products that I have been using every time I shower lately. Uh, first one is a heat <gasps> I'm sorry, I can be very dramatic. I don't mean to. Okay, so the first product that I've been using is a heat tamer and this is just the Tresemme Thermal Creations. I'm pretty sure like everyone on YouTube has talked about this. Like seriously, it's, it's really popular. But I mean, I don't have any problem with it. It's like four or five bucks. It works and it doesn't smell too bad and it doesn't dry out my hair. So hey, why not? I'm actually like, I'm literally out. I need to repurchase this. Okay, the next thing that I put on my hair and I have been using like a lot, but it is the Healthy Sexy Hair Soy Triweed Leave-In Conditioner. And this stuff I really love. And it makes my hair so soft and silky and shiny and it smells good. And it's just, it works really nice and I really like it and I have been obsessed with this lately. Okay, so the last thing that I put in my hair while well, it's semi-damp is this L'Oreal Boost It Volume Inject Mousse. And it's just like a little mousse. It, I don't know if you can see this very well. It's like a little mousse and it comes out of here and it's white and it, you like put it between your hands and you like scruff it on your scalp and volumizing because, well my hair now is pretty voluptuous. It's, it's feeling the voluptuous today, but normally, it like has so much trouble getting volume, it's like flat. And I'm like, thanks, hair. So this really helps, and again, it's cheap. It's like five or six bucks. So, I mean, why not go drugstore? I don't know. Okay, so then once my hair is dry, um, I usually put in my Renewing Argan Oil uh, of Morocco. This is the extra version, and it's like, it's by the brand OGX. Um, I get this from Target and it's like eight bucks. And it, I just put it at the ends of my hair. I don't dare put it at the top, but I just put it like through the ends of my hair and it makes it very soft and shiny and super healthy looking. And I really like it. I don't wash my hair, but every like three or four days because it's not super oily. It's not super greasy. So I can go that long. And I know it's um, healthier for my hair. So I use dry shampoo on like the third day because it can get a little oily. So I use the Batiste dry shampoo, the tinted dark brown, dry my roots and make them not oily, but yet it's not like, it's like voluptuizing. That's not a word, Catherine. It's volumizing and I really like it. And yeah, that's like all I have to say about everything here. Like I like it. I like it. It works. Next. Next. Last, like, hair product is my Tresemme hairspray, and this is just the cheap one. It works. It holds curls. Good enough. And I don't know where my wand is at the moment. I use the Conair Extra Large um, tapper, Tapered Wand. It's like the big end and the small end, and it goes whoop. And it's like the extra large version, so it's like the purple one. But um, it works really well for my short hair. At the end, this is when I did these curls on my own today. But um, at the end of the curls, it gets really poofy. And then you hairspray it and it's poofy and crazy. Like it looks like I'm from Texas or something. But then after like a half hour or so, it settles. I also have one other big announcement is that I got a car. So um, it's a 2012 Ford Focus. And it's my first car. If you guys want to see a car tour, let me know down below because I think I want to do one. I, after I'm done filming this, I'm going to go clean her. I named, I, I named my car Scarlett. Um, after my favorite actor, Scarlett Johansson. So my dad literally calls her Joe. J-O-H. You know, no shame. So, I'll talk to you guys later. I uh, hope you enjoyed my video. And bye! <laughs>